Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to share a, uh, <clears throat> a problem I'm having with the, uh, with my Mustang. It's, uh, I got this like weird ticking noise whenever I turn the wheel. And I, I don't know if you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's like, yeah, I tried to put the camera down there so you could see what, what I was, uh, what, what I'm hearing. And, uh, I believe I think it's the uh, the rack and pinion. It's it's a uh, a flaming river manual rack, and it's been in the car for about about a year, and it just started doing this. It started making like this clicking a clicking noise when you turn the wheel. So I, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it just started like I said like a week ago. Um, so I'm gonna pull it apart. I'm gonna take the rack off, and I want to see what what's going on with it and. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make this video so that, you know, if anybody else out there has a, has a rack, manual rack that's doing that, uh, maybe you can learn something and, and see what's, you know, maybe how to fix yours. Uh, I don't know if those, I don't know if it still has a warranty or not. I, maybe I should call Flaming River and see, but, uh, yeah, let's take it off and we'll check it out. Yeah, I mean, I, I switched to my GoPro and I'm, I want to, uh, kind of show where this noise is coming from. It's coming from like right in this uh, hub here where the uh, steering shaft comes in, you know, from the column, the shaft, and then right into this, it's got like a bearing here, and then it's got like a, kind of hard to see, but, yeah, let me stick the, let's see if I can just, just do this. You can kind of hear it when I move the steering shaft. It's kind of hard getting in here. Yeah, you can hear it clicking right there. And I'm just moving it back and forth, like, you know, on this flat spot here on the shaft. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and let's see what, uh, take it off and then we'll get it on the bench and let's see if we can take a better look at it. Yeah, so I just got the rack off and yeah, it feels a little like notchy. Like I'm just doing it, you know, I'm just turning it with my hand here. Uh, that really looks kind of, you know, yeah, I'm just kind of turning it with my hand and it, it just feels kind of, yeah, it just feels kind of like notchy, like clicking, like click, click, click. I don't know. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna, I, I'm not sure if you can take this apart or not, uh, or if I should attempt to, you know what, let me go on, uh, I'm going to go on, on the internet real quick and, um, uh, see if there's any information on taking this apart. Cause it feels like the, the splines or the gears or something are like, it just feels kind of notchy. So yeah, let me go check online and then I'll, I'll get back with you guys. All right, so I took this little this little nut here off. It had this spring in it. There's like a little plastic piece here. I've never taken one of these apart, so I don't really know what I'm getting into here. Huh. Looks like some kind of like something to keep tension on it on the uh, flashlight yeah something to keep like tension on the um, on the shaft I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be able to tell here from just looking in there I mean, everything seems to be moving okay. Not sure. Uh, let me look more into it. Yeah, so I, I found something I'm not quite sure. Doesn't It doesn't seem right. Like, I don't think that, like, this shouldn't be, when I, when I move the shaft sideways, it's like the whole shaft on the inside is just moving around. See that? 
it's like the whole thing just is like wobbling right in here. Like there should be some kind of bushing in here. So I'm going to take this boot off and, and pull that off and see if, if that's, if, see what's in here. Maybe that's causing that. So let me, let me take that boot off. Yeah. So there's no extra, like there's no bushing in there or anything like that. It's just it's nothing, nothing holds it in. It, the, uh, it, nothing holds the shaft straight. Very hard to see. I'll have to just explain it. It's not uh, not coming on video very well, but in, inside here, I thought there would be like a bushing to hold this this shaft from moving around, but there's not. It just it just gets held in by this uh, this nut that has a spring attached to it and like a little uh, plastic spacer with a uh, with like a radius on it that kind of holds this whole thing in place. And I mean, I'm looking at the uh, the splines, and, and and all the splines look good. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I think I'm just gonna. I guess I just can re-grease it, put some more grease on it, and stick it back in there. And I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Maybe something else is wrong. I'm not sure. So yeah, let me do that. Let me put some grease on it. Put it back in, and we'll try it. Okay. All right. So I have a theory. Uh, I think what's happening is the th there's a spring here and this spring ha uh, puts pressure down on this like plastic bushing now this plastic bushing the plastic bushing holds the shaft down onto the spline uh, this spline here so it holds the shaft down on that spline so if there's any kind of uh, I think it's more of like a safety thing where if a wheel gets, you know, one of your wheels gets stopped and, and you're turning the wheel or a wheel hits a curb or something and the wheel, you know, it won't rip the steering wheel out of your hand. So what happens is, is this spring will, it'll push the rack up. Okay. It'll push this bushing up and it'll skip a tooth. You know, it'll, it'll like it'll skip a tooth because it's um, the, the tensions off of it. So I think that's what the spring is for. So if that's the case and I'm just, it's doing it on normal driving, like normal uh, driving. I think that means the spring may be kind of worn out and letting it click over with just a little bit of tension. This is my theory. Uh, it could be completely wrong. Uh, maybe someone out there can, um, chime in and tell me what 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 I'm missing or whatever but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put like a shim in here and so to give this a little the spring a little bit more tension I guess you'd say so I'm gonna put us I'm gonna put a little spacer in there just a washer and it's something that if, if I put it in and and that wasn't it I can always just take this out it's it's really easy to pull this this uh, this little piece off here and then I can take that out so Let's try that and then, then we'll put it back in. So I found a washer. This washer here, I'm just gonna put it right in there so that when this spring is up against it, <clears throat> it's gonna take up a little space and hopefully give the spring some more tension. So let's try that. Okay, so I got the rack back in and put the wheels back on and got, got weight on the car and bingo, that was it. That was the problem. So now you can see when I turn the wheel I mean you can hear the tires uh, you know on my garage floor but it's uh there's no more clicking no more like a mechanical clicking noise yeah so that was it um yeah that's that's actually really cool that I was able to figure that out that quick and uh I I hope this this helps somebody out there because uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has experienced that and so I just used um, yeah I basically just took I got a washer I don't even know like you said a random washer and stuck it in there and that was enough to, to shim it and it was a little bit hard to get that that cover back on it it was a little tough but that's because there's more spring pressure so but yeah, it feels smooth. I need to take it for a test drive just to make sure because it was it was doing the clicking like when I was 
you know, like low speed where there was a lot of pressure on the rack. Uh, you know, at higher speeds, it didn't really do it because, you know, when you're rolling it, it doesn't really put a lot of stress on the rack. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Let me take it for a test drive just to, just to make sure and, and we'll see. Yeah, so just for a little test drive here, I'm just leaving my neighborhood and it seems perfect. And uh, you know, that's not to say that in the future it might not wear out again. I don't, I don't know if it might, it might wear out again and start clicking again, but at least I know what it is. Um, and I'm glad I'm able to share it with you guys. So in case you count, encounter the same thing. And the good part is, is that I, I almost thought it was my, the caster camber plates. And I was like really close to ordering new caster camber plates. Cause I thought, well, when I'm turning the wheel, it's, you know, it's moving the suspension. And I thought that the, uh, the, the caster camber plates were like getting like notchy a little bit, but it ended up not being that. Now it's, it's perfectly smooth. Like, just took it apart and looked at it.